Hello everyone. Today's our topic is R and one. Environment means surrounding in which you can see living and non-living component. Both are correlated together. Living being like human, different kind of animals, microbes, these are involved here. They can do various kind of interaction and they also interact with our environment which is also made up of non-living component. In our environment as non-living component air, water, soil, temperature, light and other climatic factors are also considered. Non-living can interact with living being. They give a specific impact on them and just like that living being caught can also give impact on non-living factors as you know very well ozone hole greenhouse effect this one is the impact which is provided by living factor towards our environment and this one is changing our environmental condition so both are correlated together and both can give their impact on each other because the protoplasm is actually this one is the physical basis of life. After the protoplasm, life starts as cell, tissue and later on, you can see here, organ. After that, organ system. Later on, you can see organism is here. After organism, the first this uh, exactly this organism form the smallest unit of our environment that is an individual this one stands here as individual but in a previous view we can see this protoplasm is also made up of it's a colloidal solution or mixture of various compounds Now here, here you can see compounds are made up of different molecules and every molecule is made up of atoms. Atoms contain subatomic particle, electron, protons and neutrons. So here you can see the life is correlated with non-life directly. This is the barrier line between life and non-life. Here all the things correlate to life, it's a living world and rest of the part is showing to a non-living. That's why we can say living and non-living components are correlated together. Just here, just after the individual you can see the environment or the specific ecological terms get start now. After organism, a group of organisms can be formed which are living in a same geographical area or you can say same species member living in a same geographical area is now called as population. Later on different species member which are living in a same geographical area make community. So remember this one population denotes to group of same species member. While community relates to group of different species. After community, the next term arises is called as biome ecosystem, which is also known as the structural and the functional unit of ecology. This is called as structural. and functionally. After ecosystem, organelles can categorize as biome, which is a, a large kind of, uh, it's a large part of our environment in which various kind of ecosystem can be involved. 
and at the last it will include it in the BIOS. So you can see here, here the life origin age and transform into protoplasm which is a physical basis of life and later on from the cell and the cell tissue organ organ system and individual it make a growth and form population later on various kind of species member get collected and form a community and after that structural and functional unit is formed which is made up of biotic as well as of no abiotic component it's called as ecosystem one more thing i can tell you about ecosystem is smallest and largest ecosystem smallest ecosystem can be derived as a drop of water taken from a natural water while the largest ecosystem as the largest ecosystem you can conclude as whole earth planet. so an ecosystem can be small like a drop of water or it can be too large like the whole earth study about all these is done in a branch of science and that branch of science is called as ecology. This term was first of all given by and this term was clarified by exactly the meaning of ecology in the river. Eco exactly originate from a Latin word called as oikos and another word is logos. Oikos means surrounding, while logos means to study. So this one is the study of our surrounding, known as ecology. And Haeckel defined ecology as it's a Haeckel defined ecology as a group of biotic and abiotic component which are correlated together and make a perfect kind of system. And we have to study all kind of interaction which are going on in our environment. This, these all the structural and functional, these all the structures and function we study in ecology. Now the father of ecology is Ritter. And father of Indian ecology in India a lot of work is done by Professor Mishra, so he also known as the father of Indian ecology. He is Professor R. Mishra. Now about the structural and functional unit of ecology that is ecosystem. perfect system present in our environment which is made up of living and non-living component where both are interrelated together and this one is a system formed by their interaction. You can define it as structural and functional unit of environment. And, and you can also define it as the total group of living things and environment of factors present in a particular place is called as ecosystem. So right now we can say two kind of components are found in our ecosystem. So the next point is component of ecosystem. An ecosystem is made up of two kind of components. First one is living component, another one is non-living component. Living components are also known as biotic component. While non-living components are called as abiotic component. In the case of living component, we can categorize organism into three categories. The first one is called as producer. Second one is consumer. And the third one is decomposer.
well in the case of abiotic component we can categorize the non living factors into two category physical and chemical Yeah, we can classify these organisms into various kind of being. Consumer can categorize as primary, secondary, tertiary and top consumer. Primary consumer is also known as one degree consumer. Another one is secondary consumer. That is also known as two degree consumer. Next one is tertiary consumer. It's also known as three degree consumer. And the next one is top consumer. Usually in a food chain, four to five organisms are involved. But if the food chain is too long, then after tertiary consumer, there will be more kind of consumer like quaternary, pentanary consumer and so on. In our next lecture, we will discuss about the detail of biotech and abiotech component. Thanks everyone.